Hey folks, this is a cat with charts for sharkcharts.live, here to talk about the indicators we offer through sharkcharts.live. Uh, what they are, basics, how to set them up, what information they can give you. Uh, and I want to just start first with a brief background video discussing more just how to think about these indicators, uh, a bit about the background, how they came to be, and broadly what we're even trying to achieve with them. Uh, so, I think it's really important to start out by saying that indicators are just tools. Uh, we've called it the fishing rod on the front page of the site uh, because they aren't the strategy in of themselves. They're tools to visualize data in a human readable way so that you can make observations to execute on a strategy. Uh, and I will add to that that your strategy needs risk management in mind and no indicator I can write will help you if you don't pay attention to risk management. Uh, and that's not kind of neither here nor there uh, as far as actually applying the indicators goes. Um, so you can learn more about the actual strategy framework for which you, you consider using these indicators uh, through the other things the site does, such as the live streams, our Discord server, uh, Dad Shark's course, or uh, his one-on-one -on -one lessons. Um, we'd also recommend the books Macro to Micro and Volatility Illuminated by Mark Whistler, which you can get for a couple bucks each on Amazon as Kindle editions. And they're sort of kind of background foundational material in which we've built a lot of what we do. Um, so what are these indicators? Why do we make them? What do we aim to achieve with them? So the origin story for these is that kind of unlike dad shark i'm relatively new to trading i got in during the cryptocurrency euphoria bubble and and you know kind of that search every retail trader who kind of to stick with it goes through uh, to try to find things that actually work you know i eventually happened upon dad shark and at this time i threw myself into trying to code a lot of indicators because i was really frustrated with a lot of things that it just didn't seem to have much predictive value. And you know, I came across Dad Shark's volatility approach. It was making observations that other methods just weren't, and they were tradable. So I got really interested. I started coding indicators uh, for specifically his strategy. And it kind of led to a constructive back and forth where we bounced all ideas off each other. Uh, things we wanted to build that didn't really exist on TradingView to show us what we wanted to see more easily. Uh, and then I saw what it could actually code, because PineScript could be a pain at the times. Uh, so a lot of stuff we tried kind of blew up PineScript, and some of the stuff we do have loads somewhat slow. But it does load and it works. So I'm very proud to say that we've built a set of volatility power tools that are useful and, to the best of my knowledge, present a depth of volatility information that is completely unique among TradingView indicators. Uh, broadly speaking, they measure relative expansion and contraction of volatility across many period lengths, and uh, you might compare this to just looking at a bunch of Bollinger Bands as single Lego units, and then uh, in one indicator, build a whole uh, life-size Lego sculpture of this, uh, putting it all together uh, across a bunch of period lengths at the same time uh, to create stuff like heat maps, uh, you know, real-time adaptive. Uh, identifying moving average for the longest ever expanded period. Uh, it's exciting stuff. Um, and in theory, you could do this without the tools, uh, but it would be very hard. Uh, it would involve a lot of clumsily going between different band lengths. Uh, I, we built this because we weren't satisfied with what previously existed. So what we have to offer as indicators are higher resolution, faster, and just a whole lot less work to interpret the chart. So in this series, I'll go over how, one by one the different indicators that we've released, and how you would set them up, uh, a little bit about how you might use them. But I will caveat that by saying that you should know why you're using any indicator you're using. 
uh, because otherwise, how will you know when it's not telling you information that you can actually trade, or you know, you've found an edge case or an exception to a rule? So uh, I would in, keep in mind that you can't just take the short configuration videos and have at it. You've also got to study some of the background volatility theory and put together a strategy, and that's a bit out of the scope of these videos. But with that, uh, continue on to the other videos in the series. Thank <laughs> you.